should be getting things faster, you know, and it just, it's uh, the same with everybody, you know, it's always like, you know, you, that's why people don't drive until they're 15, you know what I'm saying? You don't have 13 year old driving because they won't get it. <laughs> Anyways, let's do, <laughs> let's do this problem here. Um, um, again, it's best to actually email me problems beforehand because then I can actually post the problem up on the, the slides when we're doing it too. But anyway, so let's do this. Remember what we said. The first thing we're going to do is write down all the atoms. U, H, F, O. And I always do O last, okay? Because it's the easiest way to balance. U, H, F, O. So now we just write down how many we got. One, two, one, one. One, four, two, one. Okay. Well, U's are cool, right? So H is next. So there's two H's over here, but only one H over here. But if we look over here, look at F, right? F and H are connected over here, so that might be the first thing you want to do, okay? So, and it just comes from experience to think of which one you want to do first, okay? So since there's four F's over here, we have to have four F's over here, and there's only one way we can do that, to do that, right? So now we've got that, but we've also got that, right? Okay. So the next thing we want to do is look. Okay, 4 and 2. Well, now we can cure this by putting a 2 there, right? So now we've got a 4 there and a 4 there. And 2 times 1 is 2 there. So if we look, do we have all the same numbers? 2, 1, 4, 1, 4, 4, 2, 4, 2. So we're balanced. Don't keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like... The thing is, the thing is, is when, the f when somebody tells you something for the first time, it always goes over your head, okay? That's just, not you in particular, but yeah. everyone, no, everyone. It's just like, chemistry is its own language, you know what I'm saying? It's like learning Chinese, okay? Except, it's more like this. This is what chemistry is like, uh, except that you get to talk to your friends outside of chemistry, is that, it's like they've taken you from Texas and dropped you in the middle of China. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know any Chinese and you're expected to, you know, get around, you know, before you die, you know? <laughs> so that's, that's what you got to do. You got to learn these bits by bits by bits. So every time I tell you something, it's something new, you know? So you won't learn it the first time. You just got to keep... Re revising it and revising it. And that's why, you know, it's very important that w you go down to the tutoring centers and help with those people too because, of course, you know, a lot of people feel more willing to talk to those people than to me, you know, or less scared of them or things like that. And they have more time than I do, you know. They're always there, you know. So, um, and other classmates, it's good. Like with the lab the other day, it was so good to see. I mean, you guys did so much better on that lab that you guys did all together than any other lab before. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys really worked on it, you know, I thought. At least generally. So. And I think you actually learned something, you know. That's the cool thing. So, Okay, are we cool with that one? Any more questions on this one? Again, it's just this stepwise process. Don't make it out to be more difficult than what it is, okay?